Hi, what's up guys? So I am currently, I am currently home alone, I am. Uh, my mother just left for walk and I'm home alone for another hour or two. Like I'm roughly, I'm alone for another hour and 20 minutes. So I decided, oh god, that's smoking. Hopefully that's not the interest. I'll get something on there in a minute, don't worry, please don't burn the house down. So yeah, I was kind of thinking to myself, you know what? I'm feeling like a bit of a feast. So I just decided I want to kind of make something I do. I want to make something very nice. And I thought of something. So um, I'm going to grab some pasta over here. So we're going to grab that. I have some bread here I do. And um, I'm also going to put, I'm also going to be using these uh, spicy chicken wings from Dunn's. So pretty much what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make like a spicy chicken pasta dish or whatever. I don't know what the bread is for, the bread could be for decoration or something, I don't fucking know. Um, I'll probably do that, I will, I wanna, go. so the bread definitely needs to cook since it's just like, raw bread it is. Pasta obviously needs to be cooked and, come on, the chicken needs to be cooked as well. So yeah, let's get cooking. Well, I actually don't know if I'll use the bread, but I'll definitely use the hot and spicy chicken goose on the bread for pasta. So the main thing I need to do is that I need to get out me, um, this thing would definitely have to be used. Well, I see a life hack on TikTok where basically what you do is that fuck, what was it again? I can't remember. But basically, what it does that oh fuck, I can't remember what you do. But I remember I seen it on TikTok. I did, and actually was pretty fucking smart. So we're gonna grab a good old pasta bowl. We are. I don't know how much pasta I'm gonna put in. Uh, I'll probably cook a lot of this myself here. But um, eh, I don't know. Roughly, I'll eat about, I don't know, I'll, I'll see how much I could probably eat. Yeah. A little bit more in. Yeah, that should be more than enough. There we go. Now, I'm not doing this with just plain pasta, don't you worry. Uh, we'll also use a bit of... Um, Tomato and a uh, good old chili for, like they say, a good spicy um, kick. Let me just grab it out here. There we go. We don't put this. Oh, what was that? Don't know. Anyway, we don't put this in yet. We don't. Which basically, what I do is that I wait for the pasta to kind of like cook a bit, and for I put the water in inside of this, and then basically what I do is I put the. Um, I put the uh, I put the water in, then I put this in when it starts getting hot. I do so, yeah. Right, so we need to fill this up with water. Um, I know you can use hot water, but look how slow this is. It ain't even hot. It ain't okay. I maybe shouldn't have put my finger in. Okay, I feel the heat from that coming over now. I can. All right, let's just do. Uh, yep, yeah, that should be more than enough. Right. So now what I can do is I can plunk this bad boy on. There we go. Now the main thing we need to do next is to just wait for the oven to preheat and after we can start cooking the um, chicken we can, which will be very nice. Now the main thing I do is that, I don't know how you may do this, uh, do I have a wooden spoon? Of course I fucking don't. Uh, I don't know how you may do this, but um, the tip is I put my tin in before the sauce gets bubbly. Because if it starts getting bubbly, it's going to get all over your face, it's going to fucking burn the shit out of you. Uh, fuck me, it's actually hard to open. There we go. Oh, shit. Bit on me, whatever. Put all of that in there. And then we want to give all a good mix. I can wash my hand a bit. Oh yeah, I did wash my hands before this, do not worry. Uh, fucking cross contamination, don't. <laughs> Uh, right, so there we go. Right, so now I want to give the sauce a little bit of a mix, I do. Looks lovely. God. Another thing you can start doing is that you can start putting in some good old salt and pepper. Uh, I use pink salt since it's healthier, I do. So, uh, for such, I would, since I love pepper, I do. Like, I'm a big pepper lover, I would put in a lot of wood. So I would roughly put in... Uh, 
Well, see, that's a lot. I know it look a lot, lot, but I fucking love pepper. And I'll also put in a little bit of salt. Not too much salt, just a little bit. Give all a good old mix around, and then I would do it again, I would. But I actually taste test it to see. So we're going to taste test a bit of the sauce we are. Ooh, that's actually, ooh, that's actually quite nice it is. But I'll still put a bit of pepper in. As you know, I fucking love pepper, I do. Uh, I'll put a little bit of salt. I'm not even twisting it, I'm just shaking it in. So not much comes out. Right, so the oven's preheated it is, so I got my tray out and put tinfoil on it if you want to get rid of the grease. But um, well, I mean, my dad didn't put tinfoil on it to keep it clean, but it's only a bit dirty it is anyway. So I don't know how much of this chicken I'm going to put in. Uh, I'm not going to put in too much of it, we'll be also cutting it up to the pasta. But um, I'll see how much is a good amount. I say like six or seven would be nice because I'll be cutting all of this up. Uh, we'll do eight, we will. We'll do eight. And these take uh, 10 to 12 minutes, they do, from the cook. And these are spicy. This is kind of like a spicy pasta dish, dish it is. Alright, so now that we want to do, I may... Oh, fuck, I forgot to put the flipping thing on it. But now, these are going to take 12 minutes. So, so these will be ready at 47, they went. Maybe 46, one of them too. It takes 10 to 12 minutes, they went. So I need to put... Uh, this bad boy on top of here, I do. You just let it cook a bit, so yeah. And as a bonus, if you want, you put in the bread. To be honest, I don't really want to put in the bread anymore. Uh, but you can put it in if you want, just to make it look better. <sighs> That's bubbling up, it's bubbling up a little bit, uh, a lot. So, um, I recommend keeping an eye out because sometimes it does rise to a point where it does come out of the pot. If it does, torn down the heat because that would be pretty damn dangerous. And move stuff away, like start cleaning up after yourself, like come on. Like we're not stupid, like. Right, so our pasta is almost ready. It is, I did a little taste test I did to like kind of taste to see how, if it's hard or not. And um, it's get, it is pretty soft, it is. It needs probably another minute or two. Now, when you're tasting it, I need a spoon to taste it. When you're tasting that, my heat's on nine. Turn it down to roughly four or three when you're tasting it. Because, like, you hear all them bubbles in there. Like, if I put my hand in and, like, it's very bubbly, something can splash on me. And, like, and, and, like even the littlest splash will cause, like, a bad bone it will. So, um, I could also turn this thing on. This, I think, just, like, gets rid of the, um, you know, I think it's with the uh, smoke, but to be honest, we don't really need that, we don't. Uh, so yeah, so it is currently 42, I'll wait until 43, and then I'll move this bad boy out of the way like that. And uh, once it's 43, I can take that off, and what I can do is that I can plunk it in here, and yeah. Well, this will soon be ready. Right, it's 43, so I'll do another taste test. So we turn it down to three. Wait for it to start bubbling a lot. Alright, calm down with the bubbling. Don't stick your head, don't go like all the way in. Just do it like this. So try and catch one. Wait, it's time to catch a fish. Right, there we go. Blow it. Okay, you know how it works. Mm. Oh, that's actually nice, it is. Fucking hell, you can really taste the saltiness you can and the pepper Right. Let's take this bad boy off. You don't need, um, I don't need uh, any um, tea towels or anything. This doesn't bore my hand, it doesn't. Like, I'll put my whole hand. Now, if I touch the pot, that's gonna bore my hand, but we're not. So, pour all of this in. Now, as you can see, there is a lot stuck up there. So, plunk this bad boy on here. And then what you can do is that you can use your spoon to kind of like, it's very easy, just mix it around like that. Everything will be easily loose, so you can just pour it all in. And there you go. Magic. So that's the pasta done, so we can just do this here. We can just get all the um, stuff out of it. Now, I know it may look like we are wasting the sauce. We are not. The flavor, uh, I usually do this. What time is it? Okay, so they're ready in like 46. Let me see them now. Okay, yeah. So, um, I'm not getting rid of any of the sauce. The sauce is getting into the, um, 
the what you would call the pasta so we don't need to worry about like losing any sauce the liquid's like fine because i could t even when it was like i said i cooked this a bunch of times i did this pasta like that and in all my experience it always tastes like the sauce it does so um yeah so we'll wait for the chicken to be done and we'll continue on to the next step now depending on how what crispy you want your chicken to be I say leave it until 46, it's, yeah, I can do it another minute, but, um, I recommend, depending on how crispy it is, you can leave it in for an extra minute or two, uh, I could leave it for an extra minute or two, like, I do like my chicken kind of crispy. Now, this is the important part, now, what you want to do here is that, you want to take this, oh, shit, you want to take this stuff off, move the pasta in the sink, and then plunk this stuff inside, and you're also going to be putting the, um, chicken, on that drawer, and don't do what I did there, don't do what I did there, I just leave the towel on there, because that, if I left that on there, this towel would have been fucked, right, it's not a towel, but like, just like, um, flipping something to take out the chicken, also make sure you get something good, and like, something nice and thick to take out this chicken, even if you use a towel, like, I remember, like, I could use one of these towels, and it would still kind of bore my hand away, well. so the tip is, use a towel like this, that's, Pretty thick, very woolly. Uh, I recommend folding it up. I will. So um, make sure you have it in the middle. If you have it low, you can actually grab it, and that won't be fucking good. But uh, yeah. So open the bad boy up. Let some steam out. Move the towel a bit. And then what you want to do is that you want to just grab. Put your finger in. Grab. And just like that, you have your chicken See, It still was kind of boning as well, like it wasn't boning, but I could feel the heat on my fingers. Because I folded it up once. If I did it this, I would start to feel a bit of a bone, but you won't get boned too well. Unless I grab out bare hands, which you should never do, I'm not going to get boned. Right, so since this is a single sorting uh, for me, uh, this what I'm going to do is that uh, we're going to put the pasta in force in a bowl. Now, if you're doing this with several people, you want to... Um, Cook the chicken, put the chicken in here, mix it around. That's only if you're cooking for several people. If you're cooking by yourself, just grab your pasta, plonko into the bowl. Plonko into the bowl. Oh shit, that's a bit too much fucking pasta. And then plonko into the bowl. Just like that. Uh, just like kind of get over that. There we go. Right, that's what it looks like so far. Uh, now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be cutting up this chicken we are uh, in the half, so whatever the fuck you want it. Now after you do all that, you can place your tray here because this isn't, this isn't hot anymore, this isn't, I'm not at the bottom. So you can place your tray there. Now what you want to do is that you want to just cut up your chicken into like threes, just like what I'm doing here. I know you can't see because I'm bastard so in the way, but uh, you know what I mean. So cut up. There we go. Because honestly, I'll be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of just pasta with nothing. I really, I, I was going to just cook myself some pasta. But I decided, why not just cook some spicy goujons along with it as well? And I could do probably a quick vlog about this as well. Uh, there we go. Now, get your pasta bowl. This may be a bit too much chicken, because it definitely actually seems like a lot on this. Because I'm going to pour all this in, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to just throw it all in. This is a lot of chicken it is. Right, so now I can just do like, um, try and bury it like underneath as well, like if you have a lot. Yeah, I have so much chicken I do, it's kind of on the wheel. So, uh, whoopsies.
Well, I'm not gonna put too much chicken. I'll probably put in one more. And honestly, I think that's more than enough chicken. So I mix it all around to like get it all around. See, I feel like it is better if you just plunk the chicken in there and mix it around. But um, I was a bit of a dumbass with that. And bam, you got yourself a spicy gouzon pasta dish from Dunn Store. It's sponsored to you. Not really, but you know what I mean. Right, so now we're at the um, optional stuff here. I need to grab myself a chair. I've seen that as a chair here. Yeah. So now we're at the optional stuff. You can put in some salt and pepper, but for the forced taste test, I recommend not putting in anything because uh, you want to try and get the actual taste you do. That's what you really want. Also, make sure you clean up after yourself. Uh, I just put everything inside the dishwasher because, you know, why not? I move the camera a bit more in. So you lovely people can watch me eat. Ah, here we go. Right, you can't really see it, but here it is. Actually looks quite nice, it does. So this has nothing in it, I, it does. So I'm gonna grab some pasta as well as I read some booze on. Slauncher. Ah, mmm. That's very good. That's very good. Let me just taste the pasta a little bit quick. Mm. That pasta's good. I can taste the sauce, I can. Uh, but, of course, I need my seasoning. So put a bit of salt in there. A bit of uh, good old pepper, since I absolutely love pepper, I do. I need to put pepper on everything. Pizza, all that stuff. So yeah, all right, let me just move this around. Mm. Oh, that is fucking lovely, fuck me. I need to open up a West one. I should, fuck me. This actually is fucking delicious, holy shit. Mm. So yeah. So, first cooking episode, which I call this pasta, and spicy goosons. Honestly, this is very tasty. This I actually love this. Mm. Mm. Now, um, if you want me to do more cooking stuff, which I kind of would like to do more cooking stuff, if you want me to do more cooking stuff, let me know. I would love to do more cooking stuff. But until next time, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Remember, it's 750, we start giveaways we do. Make sure to like and subscribe, and if you want to see more dishes like this, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.